if it wasn't for some vertigo weird stuff he had going then probably be winning that as well so and also I mean a very I know that Purcell doesn't really like to be you know compared to Bale all the time but it's hard not to they're both very intelligent they're both very versatile they're, they're really good at other things off the motorcycle balance wise and man, it's just a pleasure to watch you know I mean at times it seems a little boring and, and uh, but you know if you look a little closer to the way he does things and the choices he makes on where to ride his, uh, his style and how easy it makes it look it makes you want to get a bike and go riding all right, he's only about a half a lap away from his first 1-1 moto sweep of the season. And as you mentioned, maybe the cooler temperatures were a factor in that, even some rain coming down. Last week, he won the first moto at Bud's Creek, and it was oppressive with the heat and humidity, and he just didn't have the strength in Moto2 to follow up. No such trouble here in the altitude this time. Christophe Porcel dominates here in Colorado. Physically, he won the, he, uh, he was right there in the hunt to win the hottest race and then uh, right, hey, he got the overall right Rattray I thought he won it he just won the second moto so yeah. he's won the hottest race and he won the race at altitude so I think he's erased any physical questions we'll be back to talk to him next welcome back to Lakewood Colorado Jason Wagen and David Bailey here giving in the call and Christophe Purcell on the podium getting the win and we'll show you how we did that Lucas Oil race recap didn't get the start, Porcel is actually going to get squeezed out here on the outside of turn one. It's Trey Kennard out front early, David. Looked like he was just going to keep it that way, too. But look at this flurry of speed from Purcell. A little bit more body English than normal. Really pushing hard. Usually, this looks kind of mellow. But again, asserting himself, getting around his teammate Wilson. No problem with that. Just right around him. And then a really sweet line to get to the inside of Kennard. Push him wide a little bit. Both motos, finally. Yes. Nice job. Took five rounds. For